Hi. Um, yesterday was the first race of the season, the first distance race of the season in Alaska, the Alpine Creek Excursion. Uh, it's a very casual race. Um, it looked like an awful lot of fun in a very beautiful place. Um, and it was, uh, as, as I said, it was done casually. So there wasn't a lot of rigor around things like tracking and, and uh, start times and so on. Um, and it, it just looked like a huge amount of fun. So when it was over, we heard that uh, Matt Hall, a, a local Two Rivers musher, had won. Uh, and we, the, um, the race organizers posted the start and finish times for everybody, but they didn't compute run times, so we, um, we didn't really know how well each team had performed relative to each other. Uh, ultimately, I don't think that's a huge deal. I, I, a lot of people were running the race for fun or for training, and they weren't out to be competitive. Some were. Um, so in, in some sense, the results might be a little bit misleading, uh, you know, if, if somebody wasn't racing. Um, it looks like they were slow when they were just sort of taking their time. We and we don't necessarily know who wasn't racing. Uh, we do know who was racing uh, because of the results. Anyway, so they went. They posted the in and out time, and they uh, w without the elapsed time, the without the run time. And so I, I threw together a spreadsheet pretty quickly that computed those and, and posted it. And um, this morning I got email from someone asking how I was able to do it so quickly. Uh, I'd like to be able to say that I actually, you know, did some software magic, but the truth is um, that I, I, I used to be a classical guitarist and I typed fast. Um, so I, that I type manually, but you don't have to type it manually. And I'd actually like to show you some tricks using something called regular expressions. Uh, regular expressions are a way of describing patterns of text and so that you can match pieces of text based on, on very broad patterns like numbers followed by by letters or punctuation or white space and and so on and so um, google spreadsheets does provide facilities to let you do some text matching and then do something with the text that it matches uh, based on the instructions you give it so here is a very simple example um, i'm going to show you one way to clean up some data. Uh, this, uh, what I've got here is the first 20 entries from the Northern Lights 300, which is coming up. Um, it looks great, except that uh, each of the each name is preceded by a number, and we want to clean up the numbers. We want to clean up the dots, and we want to clean up the space in front. So um, I'll show you how to do that very easily. Okay, we go to the Edit menu and pull up Find and Replace. And you can see that there are actually some options that a lot of people don't look at very quick, uh, closely. That um, how to do the how to do the pattern matching. So you, um, you can say match case exactly, match the entire cell content. We're going to use something called <coughs> excuse me search using regular expressions. Um, now regular expressions have kind of a hairy syntax that looks a lot harder than it is. It's actually pretty simple. Um, and I've been using regular expressions for much of my career, so I've got um, a bunch of that memorized, not probably not as much as I should, but you know, I'll, uh, there's my dogs, and I'll show you uh, how to get rid of the numbers, the dots, and the spaces. Okay, so we're going to say start matching at the very beginning of the cell. Okay, that's a, a, a caret or an up arrow, um, which is used always to, ma to match the beginning of a, a uh, a string or a cell or a line or you know whatever it is you're searching within and in this case we um, the first thing at, at the beginning of each cell is a number it's an integer um, and it, this is a, a little bit tricky because there's either one or two there isn't you know so typing just slash d to match a digit is only, only going to match the first one but there's uh, there's a cure for that and it's the plus sign um, the plus sign means um, we're looking for one or more of the thing that you just said so in this case we're looking for one or more digit and then we're going to say a dot because we want to we want to match that dot and then a space and that's the pattern that we're going to ask it to look for. And we're going to replace it with nothing. Um, and doing so uh, actually ends up deleting that pattern. Very simple. So then click Replace All. Whoa, I don't want to do that. Cancel. I want to, not all sheets, this sheet. OK, I want to replace all on this sheet. So we type Replace All. And they're gone, just like that. Very, very simple. Um, 
Now this is one way of doing it. You can actually do, uh, there are several different regular expression or regex functions that you can execute within cells and this is, you know, I've got an example here of cleaning up um, the, the Alpine Creek excursions data. Again, this is not how I did it last night, but it's, you know, it's how I did it this morning um, and it works pretty well. So in this case, this is, this is the data that were posted by the race organizers. Um, and here's an example of using the function regex extract on the contents of cell A1. This is the pattern um, and basically what's happening here is regex extract says um, remove anything, you know, extract anything that matches this pattern and don't, don't include anything that doesn't, you know, so, um, so using that I was able to pull out the name, the start time, the finish time, um, Again, this is, this is somewhat more advanced. Uh, as you become more comfortable with regular expressions, you can you can start using these functions. But um, but it, you know again, it's a powerful tool and it, it's available in Google spreadsheets right now, uh, and it can really make your life a lot easier when you're trying to clean up some data for your own use.